In this lesson, we're going to take the resolution of a force into two components. In the previous lesson, we studied how to find the resultant of two forces. In this lesson, we are given one single force and we need to resolve it into two components. Suppose that a force R acts at point A and we need to resolve it into two components F1 and F2. So let theta1 and theta2 be the measure of the angles of inclination of F1 and F2 to the direction of R. So theta1 is the angle between R and F1 and theta2 is the angle between R and F2. We can draw the same parallelogram where the vector OC represents the force R. We complete the parallelogram to find F1 and F2. Measure of angle ACO, this angle, equals theta2 because they are alternate angles. In triangle OCA, AC is parallel and equal to OB. So AC represents F2 in magnitude and direction. Measure of angle A equals 180 minus theta1 plus theta2. To find F1 and F2, we can use the sine rule studied before in trigonometry. So R over sine of angle A equals F1 over sine of theta2 equals F2 over sine of theta1. Sine of angle A equals sine of 180 minus theta1 plus theta2. Sine of 180 minus an angle equals sine of the angle. And by the sine rule, F1 over sine theta2 equals F2 over sine theta1 equals R over sine angle A with which is equal to sine theta1 plus theta2. Take this part of the equation and cross product. So if F2 over sine theta1 equals R over sine theta1 plus theta2, cross product to get F2, which is equal R sine theta1 over sine theta1 plus theta2. Similarly, if F1 over sine theta2 equals R over sine theta1 plus theta2, cross product, move sine theta2 up. So F1 equals R sine theta 2 over sine theta 1 plus theta 2 so if it's 2 we have 1 here and if it's 1 we have 2 here example 1 a force of magnitude 10 newton finds a component of this force in two directions one makes 30 degree and the other makes 40 degree we can simply sketch the forces we have a force of magnitude 10 mo 10 newton here you are the force of magnitude 10 newton we need to resolve it into two component one makes 30 degree with the direction of the force this is the first force f1 and f2 makes 45 degree with the direction of the force in the other side now find f1 and f2 remember by the previous rule f1 equals r sine theta 2 over sine theta 1 plus theta 2 f1 equals r so 10 times sine of the other angle so times sine 40 over sine of the sum of the two angles. So the, two, the sum of the two angles, theta 1 plus theta 2 equals 30 plus 40 to be 70. So F1 equals 10 sine 40 over sine 70. This is nearly equal to 6.8 newtons. F2 equals R times sine the other angle. So times sine 30 over sine the sum of the two angles. So over sine 70. This is nearly equal to 5.3 newtons.